The spine functions to support and protect the central nerve system during daily activities and in the event of head or neck injury. However, the spine can only take so much stress from trauma before problems start to develop with the nerves inside. Research is pointing towards trauma as a possible risk factor for the development and progression of neurodegenerative problems such as Parkinson's disease. Evidence supports the concern that mild concussive injury to the head, neck, or upper back may increase the risk of Parkinson's onset. Some studies have found that onset may occur two or three decades after the head trauma is sustained. Upper cervical chiropractic care intended to correct certain problems in the spine may benefit some patients suffering with Parkinson's disease. The goal of upper cervical care is to correct spinal distortions caused by injury to the upper neck, thereby reducing adverse effects from stress placed on the central nerve system. An examination is required to determine if benefits from upper cervical care can be expected. Doctors utilizing laser line radiography to image spinal misalignments and also digital infrared imaging to find persistent patterns of autonomic nerve dysfunction that are unique to each patient. Then care consists of correcting the major spinal misalignments and monitoring the short and long term changes in nerve function. In order to ensure a maximum resolution of autonomic dysfunction, Pre and post thermographic evaluations are performed each time an upper cervical intervention is applied. Using this strategy, doctors and patients have reported improvement in many symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease. Some patients showed major improvement in some or all of these symptoms. Most patients showed some improvement in some of these symptoms. However, some demonstrated no improvement while under care. This should not be a surprise since several factors influence our health. It is important to remind patients of the known limitations of upper cervical care to restore function. In the case of Parkinson's disease, as much as 80% loss or more of the dopamine producing cells in the substantia nigra can be sustained before the patient and doctors seek care for Parkinson's disease. Corrections to restore spinal alignment, stability, and neural integrity cannot completely restore function in cases of irreversible central nerve system degeneration. The improvement achieved through upper cervical care is believed to be accomplished by creating internal conditions that allow remaining and intact neural networks to avoid ischemic stress. Upper cervical care should not be considered a treatment for any medical conditions, including Parkinson's disease. It is inaccurate to view upper cervical care as an alternative to or replacement for medicine. The purpose is substantially different than diagnosis and treatment of disease. The upper cervical doctor corrects certain mechanical problems in the spine that interfere with normal nerve function. This method of caring for the spine versus treatment of symptoms and disease has benefited many patients with a wide variety of health problems including Parkinson's disease. A growing body of clinical evidence suggests that spinal dysfunction should be considered along with other known factors influencing neurodegenerative pathologies such as Parkinson's. This comes from a unique form of care that is shown to be safe with high levels of patient satisfaction in a wide variety of cases.